What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix network lag, stuttering and packet loss while playing Mount and Blade 2 on Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. In case you experience a high server-sided latency, then the issue might not be on your end, but rather related to the server you are playing on. As the game just released, you might encounter high volatility in latency and packet loss which is not related to your personal network connection. Click on the first link in the description to preview Steam server status. When this is done, close your game and make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. The next two commands are listed in the description below. Ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command, will in any case improve your latency issues. You can now exit out of your command prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open the processes with network activity and after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. In your task manager, open up the Startup tab to prevent other programs from starting up on system boot. And as always, make sure that your operating system and GPU drivers are up to date to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.